in Python on hardware. Laniana. Yeah. CircuitPython 9 is on the way. It is. You want to talk about something that's coming in there? Well, and then we're going to talk about a pie spec. There's actually a lot of stuff that's been uh, being updated in CircuitPython 9. Um, you know, the alphas are out, so people can please, 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 please try the alphas out. Yeah. Um, IDF5, so ESP32 support is much better because we've updated the um, the underlying software from Espressif to be the latest version, so lots of updates and fixes. Uh, definitely the RGB TFT support is much, much better. Um, in CircuitPython 9. We're adding JPEG IO in CircuitPython 9 so you can decode and display images. Um, I mean, obviously, tons of bug fixes, a lot more board definitions, um, but basically getting ready for adding you know, even more um, expressive boards like the C6 and stuff and the P4 or whatever. Um, we have to be in the latest version of their board support package. So that's essential. All of these you know, new updates that Scott's doing um for adding a uh, better web workflow with sd card support that's all in nine um i've been using nine we're going to be skidding to a release candidate real soon so if folks who are cool with trying out nine i think it's a good yeah please do yeah yeah get your feedback in try out the cool stuff let's know how it goes um this is you know highlighted in our newsletter we also have our circuit python eight to nine release there's a couple updates a couple bug fixes as well yeah. um we'll get to this uh, pi hat center in a second do you check out adafruitdaily.com? It's our separate website. We don't spam you. You can subscribe there, um, unsubscribe anytime. You can also read it as a web page. You can get an RSS feed. We don't do tracking. We really you read on GitHub. We really like folks to just enjoy this content. We got nothing in there like ads. We just want you to check out the latest and greatest with Python on hardware. Um, projects you can read all of them but the thing that you know each week before the show i'm just like hey lady or what are you going to talk about this week there's two things one i really like this project is circuit python powered typewriter yeah that's fun um but i think you know there's a use of pio there's a pretty big community of people that are paying attention to what's going on with raspberry pi um and the pi folks released a new standard for raspberry pi so yes. what is this why is it interesting in Lady Ada Wars, I linked to the blog post on on the uh, Pi uh, dot com site. Yes, so this is called PIP PIP. So uh, PCIe ex PCIe Express component interface. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, they're calling it PIP. So the PCIe slot on the Raspberry Pi Five is pretty exciting because it means you can start to attach. Um, hardware to a high speed interface. The GPIO are not particularly high speed. They're not differential um, and they don't have, it's not an existing standard. You can see the PCIe pins um, are uh, length matched. Uh, I think it's one or two lane. I mean, it's one lane, um, but that means you can use, you know, cellular cards and crypto cards and GPU accelerators and stuff. Um, so they, to, you know, they didn't want to put a whole PCIe slot on there because it wouldn't fit obviously, but instead, uh, they put this nice FPC connector, um, and in the documentation, they specify how long the cable can be, 15 millimeters or so, uh, although you can go longer, it's not isn't guaranteed to work, and um, cable configuration, impedances, uh, pinouts, and so people can start making, uh, you know, like, this, there's a hat, but they said you could also put it underneath, I think, Pimeroni designed an underneath board, um, could be interesting, I mean, I think, you know, I think they're really smart that they're like, well, we have this capability in a chip. They'll expose it via an, a low cost connector. And then, you know, people in the community can make it adapters. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put you on the spot. I didn't tell you I was going to ask you this. No. Let's say you can pause time right now, but you can only make a uh, hat with this specification. What hat would you like to see out there that you would like to make? What do you think would be kind of cool? I think I think the most useful thing, to be honest, would be, um, you know, like a cellular add on hat. I think I, I mean, I think there's like cool graphic stuff people are doing with the PC, but I think um, a lot of stuff can go through USB. iPhone. But yeah, like cellular. I, I mean, I, I just know that there's a lot. Of course, like disk drives. People want to have uh, storage. Yeah. They can create little uh, network. That's cool. You know, NAS boards right. and stuff. So I think I mean, I, I, you know, I think you think you might work on that. Um. You know, I actually think that the community is doing a really good job making hardware. I, I don't have immediate plans. Yeah, because that's why I said if you could stop time, 
because we're working on a lot of other stuff. Yeah, I mean, I have so much stuff on my plate. I think, yeah, like an M2 adapter board would be fine. But like, a, like the Raspberry Pi Foundation, they have a design they're going to release and we'll stock it. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so that's the spec. I thought that'd be interesting for folks out there, especially like what Lamar is I'd like to see a little cellular how to make it. Okay, um, that's our Python on hardware news. Don't forget, you can um, get this delivered to you every single week. All this and more. And we cover even more than just Python hardware, of course, but that, that gets us in the door. Okay.